Today is Thursday, March the 14th, and it's around 4.49 p.m., and I wanted to show you guys what I'm cooking. I wanted to try this recipe, and I could not remember the YouTuber's name. Uh, I don't like really saying YouTubers, the content creator's name. Her name is Adrienne Magie, MG, and um, she was cooking some Salisbury steak. Now, I think she used beef, but I'm going to use these frozen turkey burgers and then these uh, 93 lean fat turkey burgers. These will be for me because y'all know I'm on my weight loss journey and these are for my family. And uh, I could not find, I did not know, first of all, that there was such thing as French onion, condu French onion condensed soup. I had no idea, I never heard of that before. And I went looking for it and could not find it. But I do have the cream of mushroom condensed soup. I use this all the time as gravy. Um, so I saw that she was using, actually, yeah. I think hers was just the, uh, the French onion soup. Um, but this says beefy onion soup, so. I don't know. I'm going to use this one instead. I do. I have this one. And then I also have this one. So I don't know which one. I guess it's about the same. It's probably the same. I'm going to use either one, either this one or this one. And hopefully that will give me the brown color that I need. I have an onion, a half an onion that I already uh, cut up that's over there. You guys can't see it yet. I just sprayed my pan. So now I'm just going to get another plate. Well, a plate, not another plate. I'm going to get a plate and then I'm just going to season. If I can get this open. I'm going to. Um, Y'all know my regular seasonings that I use. My Mrs. Dash, some Creole, um, my garlic powder, and my onion powder. I thought I had some more onion powder. Oh no. Oh no. I thought I bought. This should be enough. I hope so. Good gracious. And I don't have any more of. um. The Italian, I might use oregano. I don't have any Italian um, seasonings either. So I'm going to season these meats. And then I got some flour here that I'm going to um, put on it. And that flour will also, that flour that is on the meat once the meat is finished, I'm going to caramelize my onions. Look at me using big words like I know, <laughs> like I know how to cook for real, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to let it caramelize uh, so that can help form my um, my gravy and everything too. So, and then I'm going to do the same with the uh, with the turkey, the frozen turkey burgers too. I'm going to do it the same exact way. So, 
Hope you guys are having a good day, an amazing day. Um, I really didn't do much today. I um, devo did my devotion and um, I exercised a little bit. I actually sat on the porch to do my devotion today because it's such a beautiful day. Um, and then my hubby came back home from uh, work or whatever and um, he and I was talking, telling me things that he's gonna do to the house, outside of the house and stuff. I know y'all are tired of me. Y'all are tired of me saying this, but for real, I am working on everything with my house, trying to get the right colors and everything. And then some of you probably already know my daughter's getting married. So it's like, like I say, y'all, it's a lot of stuff that's going on all at one time. And of course, I'm still trying to get better as well. So yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot, but we're getting through everything. So it's just gonna take time, it's gonna take time. And um, I did go look for some paint colors, I think I told you guys that, because I don't know, I'm really not feeling that snowbound. I thought I did, I thought I liked the snowbound color, but the more and more it sits on the wall and the more and more I look at it, y'all, it's a little too, it's a little too beigey, you know? It's not giving me, I don't want crisp white, but I don't want it to look real beigey and yellowish either. So, um, so yeah, that's that's kind of like what I'm what I'm battling with right now with the colors. It's just not um yeah, it's just not giving me what I'm really looking for as far as ooh, as far as the uh the color. I thought it was when it original when he initially put it on the wall, when my husband initially um put the color on the wall. I instantly, I was like, oh yes, this is the color. And, and so did he. He said the same thing. Um, but then as it, as it um, dried on the wall, the true color came out, I, I guess. And um, yeah, it's just a little too, it's a little too beigey for me. So unfortunately, <laughs> Unfortunately, I believe we're we're back at square one. <laughs> we're looking for colors for the house, for the inside of the house. Hopefully, I did get some other colors. I'm hoping that I like them. I did not get the actual sample. I just got like the card, but I don't know. I mean, he had two, I think two other colors too that he wanted to test out. So I don't know y'all, I think we're back at square one. Is this the right flower? Wait a minute, this is not flower. This, this look like the thing for the shrimp. Or is it flower? Let me see. This is the flower that he used for like seafood. This is the other flower. <laughs> I knew that color looked kind of funny. So I'm not gonna bore you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and cook this. And then as I get in the process, I'll come back and show you how everything is looking. So be back. Okay guys, so these are the, the frozen burgers that's in here now. I'm just kind of like letting it sear a little bit. A little bit more and spread it because I don't want it to dry out because remember we still have to make our gravy to turn these into Salisbury turkey burgers or steak or whatever. <laughs> these are the ones that's in here now. And then my other turkey burgers are right here and again i know they're not cooked all the way through because i gotta put it back in once the gravy gets in 
I'm going to put it back in and then let it simmer so it can cook all the way through. Hoping everything turns out good, y'all. Like I said, this is my first time ever doing this. Yeah, got my onions, y'all. Let's spray this a little bit more. My husband came in because he went and got him a little pizza. So, ooh, that smelled good. I said, I told you I was cooking. You didn't tell me what you were cooking, so I didn't know. You know how stingy you are with food. Y'all, he just eat too much. <laughs> I love him, though, but yeah. Y'all know how it can be sometimes. But anyways, yeah, that looks so good. And my green beans is in the oven. And then here is my rice that is cooking. Yeah, I can't wait to eat, y'all. recorded this portion <laughs> but I had my fan on and I did tell you guys I could not turn it off because I was hot however when I went back to listen to the footage it was too loud so therefore I was showing you guys each individual piece 
but they are already folded and I'm not going to unfold them. But just to go over, this is the uh, stuff that I use when I'm doing my facial care so the water won't run down my hands and my hair won't be in my face. Um, all of that was purchased from Amazon. And then, let me see a start over here. This is just a jacket, just in case it's cool. I have two things of um, sleepwear. This is all for gym or either to wear back. I'll probably work out with one of them, wear one of them there, and then one on the way back. And then this is just, high, you know, my undergarments here. I'm going to talk to you guys about this in a moment. I got two pair of socks, one short pair and a long pair. The little uh, squatchy, not squatchy, what you call them? The um, slouchy, I think they call slouchy socks. This is one outfit. Here's a second outfit. And then this is my church outfit. We're just going for the weekend and come back Sunday. And then I wanted to talk to you all about this little thing here. I got this from Timu. And what I love about it, you guys, is that it's Velcro. Okay, now to show you guys what I'm talking about, I can actually pull this off like so. And say, if I just wanna carry this portion with me in the bathroom or put it in my purse, I can. This has like my jewelry in there and then each piece, um, each piece, you Velcro onto this. So it has a total of four components, four compartments. It has a total of four compartments, I believe. One, two, three, four. Yes. So my jewelry is in here. I have my toothpaste and mouthwash. And I will put my toothbrush and my um, picks and floss stuff in here in the morning when I'm done. I do have another toothpaste already in the restroom and some more uh, mouthwash. And then these two will have my facial care in it um, after I take my shower and everything tomorrow. I purchased this from Timu over the holidays. I also purchased my daughter's one, but just to show you guys how you can fold it up like so, and then bring this here and you just take this and you wrap it around like so, and then you take this one and you wrap this one around like so, and then you just put it in your suitcase or whatever very handy very neat so yep now i'm just gonna and i am going to invest in some more suitcases you guys um i think i told you all that that hubby and i along with my uh friends we're going on a cruise next year I know y'all probably say next year. Yep, next year, honey. We got this wedding, to, <laughs> my daughter's wedding to focus on. So, um, yeah. So, but next year we're going on a cruise and I'm going to invest in some, um, I'm going to invest in some suitcases. The ones that you can roll either way. You can push or either pull. Those are the type of suitcases that I want. So I will be investing in those. Probably get them during the holiday because you know they have sales um, on them. So this is church. I have two outfits for church and I'll probably do like a get ready with me y'all when I'm there. Once I get there, I'll, of course I will do a room tour of the hotel. Um, we're not gonna get there until late because my daughter has to work. Both of my girls have to work. Of course, I'm not driving, y'all know. I'm not able to drive right now. Not far, especially not far. I can do a little bit, but, um, so yeah, this is gym wear. Put gym wear here. Let's see, let's put this one over here. But yeah, I'm definitely going to invest in some more, um, better suitcases.
and then all of my well, I wanted to put my shoes in here I got another area here okay um yeah let me put my shoes I'm only taking three pair of shoes guys I'm gonna take these these are not high at all I'm gonna take these and wear these to church I got these I had these for some years from um she in i believe with a nice little glass acrylic whatever you want to call it shoe um and like i said the heel is not that high so they are comfortable but of course once i get there to church and sit down shoes will probably come off <laughs> and then i have my two pair of tennis shoes a pair of black ones and a pair of white ones that I'm also going to, I will wear one and put the other one in here. Um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and put mine. Since I have those in that bag, I'm gonna go ahead and put this part in here. And then if I decide to put my shoes in here, then I will, I will put it in another compartment. Also, I need to do my hair products, but I will do that tomorrow because I am getting ready to wash my hair. And y'all see, I, I still have two other compartments. So I could put my tennis shoes in here actually and maybe put some hair, my hair products in there. It's not a lot that I'm gonna take. And then this right here, I can just also put right here in this zip part like so so yeah I told you all I'm not a makeup person I do want to learn how to how to apply makeup only thing I'm going to take is some mascara and some lip gloss but I do want to learn how to do makeup however the first thing first is clearing up my skin my skin is doing much much better since I've gone to the dermatologist and I have been using what she prescribed. I have not missed a day of a day or night using the products that are the prescriptions that she prescribed to me. Initially, when I was using the Trentinoid, I did break out y'all. So I'm glad I read that information like I told you all in the last vlog, um, because I will have thought that it wasn't working. I did have some areas over here. I think I had like three over here and one here. Everything has cleared up except for this small area here. I don't know if you can see it. This one right here is still left. Um, I do feel like my face, it's like the, the blemishes that I've had on that I have rather on my face, they're beginning to get lighter. I do notice that, that my face is getting the areas the breakouts or the yeah the blemishes I think that's what it's called uh, left that was left behind after the breakouts I do feel like some of them are getting lighter so I guess that's the beginning of my face getting better um, my neck here you guys can see my neck is peeling and I have not picked it I'm just gonna let this do its own thing um, but yeah that's the first thing I want my skin to get better and then after my skin is at the place where I feel like the makeup and stuff is not going to irritate my face not that makeup ever irritated my skin but I just think if your skin is not where it needs to be it's okay well I take this I take it back because some people who have breakouts I don't like wearing makeup when I have active acne um, because the makeup can clog, uh, can get inside the acne and, and irritate it and make it worse or what have you. Now, having blemishes and marks on my face, that's something totally different. So at this stage where I'm at right now, I don't mind wearing foundation and stuff sometimes. The problem is I don't really know how to apply makeup. The times that I do wear makeup, y'all, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know if I have the right type of makeup, the right 
uh, applications to apply to makeup. I don't know if I'm beating my face right. I don't know, okay? So that's why I really do not wear makeup. Um, I do want to take makeup classes to learn how to apply makeup, and I'd rather go physically to a place to learn how to do makeup. I know you can watch YouTube, and YouTube is wonderful for the DIYs and the how-to. However, I learned with hands-on, and yes, you can be hands-on on a video, but I need someone there to tell me, no, 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 you're not doing it right, do it this way. Because I can watch the video all day long, but I don't know for, for sure if I'm doing it correctly. So that's why I would love to take makeup classes to learn how to apply the makeup and um, making sure I have the right tools and the right colors and stuff for my complexion. However, I am not spending an arm and leg on makeup, okay? Because even when I learn how to wear, I, I'm still not going to wear it a whole lot. And the type of makeup that I, or the makeup look that I am interested in is the natural look. I want to look natural. I'm not a big eyeshadow person. Or if I do wear eyeshadow, I want it to be like a natural, a neutral color. I'm not in the pinks and the blues and the yellows. Not putting anyone down. That's just me. I want a more mature, everyday, natural makeup look in my opinion okay so yeah but um so i don't have to really have room for any makeup because i won't be taking any except for my mascara and some lip gloss and um yeah i think that's about it so i am getting ready to hop in the shower wash my hair put my deep conditioner in and in the morning i will um wash that out and then do probably a wash and go. Um, yeah, I'll probably just do a wash and go. And um, hopefully my hair turns out good because I told y'all I do not like day, day one hair. I like day two hair, but not day one hair. So, yeah. So let me get that done because it's almost 10 p.m. And um, yeah, I'm not really tired, but I'm just ready to relax and kick back because I haven't watched TV all day. I, I watched a sermon on television and I did uh, an exercise um, on YouTube. I follow uh, someone doing some exercises on YouTube and that's all the television that I have watched. I did my devotion today, talked to God, of course, and things of that nature. And I cooked. I think I already showed you guys in this video what I cooked. Uh, will this be in this video? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, we're not leaving until tomorrow evening, so I still have time. I will probably go get my nails done tomorrow. Um, yeah, they look a hot mess, so I will probably go get my nails done. May get the same color since my toes still look good. Yeah, my toes still look good. Um, so, just to match, and especially because I will have some open toe shoes on, um, you know, I'm probably going to get the same color. And I think that's it. I have everything in my bag except for what needs to go in here tomorrow. And, um, yeah, I think that's it. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Y'all have a blessed night. You two coming? Oh. <laughs> hey, girl. Come on. That part's wrong, but the other part's going to be right. Oh, talking about a little space. No. Well, you don't see it, so that's okay. Meet That's what I was saying was wrong. <laughs> I was waiting for her to see it.
this one. Okay. That's yeah. Yeah, I like that. Got me a cup. Oh, and the works to wash it. <laughs> and it says, oh, I was about to say, can you be my bridesmaid? <laughs> <laughs> it said, I can't tie the knot without you. Yay. Probably not, because remember we pressed it and it went. Oh Jesus! Okay. Uh-uh. That's for the that's for the vlog for next week. my daughter um, my other daughter justice um, who's getting married she and her fiance are taking their uh, engagement photos today so that's why we are here um, I wanted to uh, show you guys my outfit of the day and my hair y'all my twist out turned out pretty good 
I had those little twists in my hair. I don't know if y'all saw me with twists in my hair, but anyways, y'all saw me with the other two twists, but I actually washed my hair and I did like singles. I think I had like, I don't know, maybe 10 twists in my hair, something like that. And this is how it turned out, which I'm surprised because normally my twist outs does not look good. So yeah, this is how it's looking. But um, yeah, this is my outfit of the day. Y'all saw this in my Ross haul and my in-store Ross dress uh, try-on haul. My in-store Ross try-on haul, y'all also saw this. You know, it's a little wrinkle. I didn't iron it, y'all. It'll be okay. Um, I'm trying to determine which shoes to wear, the tennis shoes or the sandals. My daughter told me um, either way. Um, I'll probably start out with my sandals, and if my feet or my knees start hurting, my back, whatever, I need more support, then I'll put my tennis shoes on. Both of these came from Shein. This is the the um, the dupe for the, um, what you call it, the Hermes? Hermes, how you pronounce it? Sandal? Yeah, that's what these are. But yeah, I already have my jewelry on, my normal jewelry, my ring set, my Apple Watch, my um, Pandora bracelet with my charms. This other bracelet came from Timu and this ring here that came from Timu. And that's it, I'll undo these hoop earrings. I was gonna put some mascara on in my um, in my uh, contacts, y'all, but my eyes are so sensitive. So no, I can't do either. <laughs> Let me go in this mirror. Y'all can see my hair a little better, I think. Can y'all see my hair a little better? I'll turn the camera around. Shy. Look at Miss Shy Shy. You ain't shy, girl. Hello. You know me. How you doing? Hello. She looking shy. Look at her. <laughs> Our bridesmaid just said yes. 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 Another bridesmaid, y'all. <laughs> Let me see your box. <laughs> I love it. I love yes, it. Yes, man. I love it. Come on. Absolutely. Yes. Here's the groom to be. Let's go. <laughs> Here's the flower girl. Say hey, flower girl. <laughs> okay. Here's the bride to be. Yes. Today is engagement photos. They look beautiful. Let's go. And here is my, well, her mother, her mother in law. Yes. 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 Oh, I guess I, I should have asked. No, you're good. You're Sorry. Good. How you doing, sis? Good, good, good. good. Awesome, awesome. Y'all so, enjoying the weather so far? Yeah. The park? It's gonna make it work. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. You see, you hit okay. You no, see, you're you got it brown. No, it's red. Right. Oh my sister! Okay. Don't get my shoes. Did you take a picture of your shampoo? I need you to do that. Mine. Oh. Yes, yes. Look at her ring ring. Look at her ring Okay. Okay, girl. Okay. Okay, girl. You might have to send me your video. Man. Oh, okay. This is beautiful, you guys. Love nature. Beautiful, beautiful.
<laughs> Justice, this reminds me of your um, this reminds me of your graduation photos a little bit. <laughs> Remember we were at the pier. Today is March. Big day. March. Today is March the 16th, I think, y'all. And we're here taking engagement photos and just enjoying the nature. That's all the families back there. All the families back there. I think I already told y'all. I, I don't think y'all saw me come on camera. I really don't but know. yeah, that is what we're doing it today, like, y'all. Like just just want to come on and say hi, introduce the vlog, because I don't think I did yet. I wonder if and, um, somebody, like you said. Yeah. and yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And um, leave your comments and subscribe and you like. And um, yeah, show me some love. And I appreciate it. See you guys. Make sure you guys are having an amazing Saturday. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
how deep this thing is, y'all. <laughs> I should have had my uh, I should have had my brace on. Across there, it's just like a hill. Okay. Yeah, be careful. know y'all. I don't know if I can make this with my knee though. I got it. You want, you want, it? You want to switch? Come on. Okay. Hold on, my cut come on. Okay. Give me that. Does your knee hurt? Yeah. Okay, but okay. well, maybe you shouldn't. Don't. You want to just stop there? Yeah. I put on her knee hurt. If I can just get a little. I don't think I'm okay right now. Oh, this is so beautiful. Be a beautiful photo, but I can't get over there. <laughs> That'd be a beautiful photo, but I can't get over there. Oh, that would be so pretty. The farmer, he has his corn in a spray. Uh -huh. And what he does, he, but his corn is not on the cow. Yeah. So he goes out in the field, <coughs> he plants his corn, uh -huh. and it starts to grow. Well, the corn that he plants is like the corn they have across the street for the cows. It's called field corn. Uh -huh. It's not like sweet corn. The, the kernels are hard. And what they do is, Corn grinds or grows during the winter, summer. Mm -hmm. It gets, you know, big ears of corn on it. And then in the fall, when it gets cooler out, these kernels become real hard. You can't, you can't chew on them, you break your teeth out. So, what they do is they bring it back to their farmhouse. Mm -hmm. And they, they got to take the kernels off this cot. Yeah. And then after they do that, they bring the kernels and put it in a burlap bag or something they bring it here to the mill and they grind it. Mm. And then you get to stay at home and cornbread is a big thing for me. Yeah. Yeah, I heard about that. Mm -hmm. like that. Uh -huh. Yeah. They made it out of That's corn. That's how they make corn. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it. I didn't know 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so here's what happens. You got to take the kernels off. So what you can do with your fingers, you can I do that so it didn't fly out. Take them off. If you had a big bag of it, by the end of the day, your thumb would be sore. Right. Plus, it's a kid's job. <laughs> the grown up don't do it. Yeah. So, we get the kernels and then they grind it. And what they do, first of all, they, they put it in a bag and they have to carry it all the way up. You can see the mill all the way to the. Mm. Wow. Start working their way back down. Mm -hmm. It gets cleaned. They got like a big fan that sits underneath it. Yeah. They start that fan and it blows all the debris and it comes out and a little chute over here on the side of yeah. the pond. And eventually it gets brown. Mm -hmm. It's a meal. Mm -hmm. And then what we do, we store it in a big plastic drum. Because we don't want any mice when they're getting inside and messing around with the corn. Right. <laughs> And, and there is mice, so I don't care what you do, uh -huh. they're going to know like this, you know, I'm away from everything. Right. Yeah. So, but it's a kid's job, but the miller generally has to hire some help to help carry the stuff all the way up to the top. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then it comes down, we put it in, and we, we scoop it up, put it in two pound bags, and we weigh it, uh -huh. tie it up, and then, then we turn around and we sell it. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the story of the okay. of the corn. So what does this thing right here does? This right here it, takes the kernels off the corn. Oh, oh, oh okay, that is gotcha. Nice. Yeah. You see, you see these little prongs like on here? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Well, that gets in between these kernels. Okay. There we go. Oh uh, yeah, that's much easier. Oh, oh yeah, that is. <laughs> Yeah, that's much easier. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is what I smell. Mm -hmm. Wait, are you supposed to touch it? I don't think you're supposed to touch it. This. Oh, that's a mandy on it. I smell oh. something that smells fresh. Mmm, smell these two. Smell these two, they smell good. Yellowstone and polo red smells good. Day. <laughs> oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh, that call's about to come over here. And um <laughs> at least with them saying their uh saying their vows and jumping the broom and all that oh, stuff yeah. that they're gonna do. Oh they're gonna do the jump the broom. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then um after that, uh, you know, them going out and then it'd be pictures time and then the ceremony 
uh, I mean the reception with them, um, Protecting my peace for so long A little too and, good, uh, now I'm so low Watching reruns of the same shows Almost everybody on my no-show Even with green lights I don't go Never been sure, no I don't know How does everybody has to let go Of the ego I've made it back into the hotel room today has been a day first and foremost my um my daughter and my son in love engagement photos turn out so beautiful so 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 beautiful the area oh my gosh just magnificent let me tell you nothing but God's creation it was beautiful 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 so yeah we had a long day you guys um after that, we went and got something to eat and kind of just looked around a little bit. And the craziest thing happened. My um, my daughter's mother in love in love um, purse got taken. Um, good thing we did not leave the area. We stayed around, and um, you know, uh, my son in love went looking. And at first, they told them. The store that we were in told them that they could not go back and look at the footage. I don't know why they said that. But anyways, the policemen, they called the police and they came and they viewed the, um, the camera footage. And they saw exactly who took the purse. And get this, y'all. This was nobody but God. Because let me tell you, who in the world will steal something, right? And then still stay in the area. <laughs> Don't leave the store, but still just stay there. So, um, again, uh, they were looking for the person and they found him. Y'all, again, he was still in the store. He was still there. I don't know if he was there to maybe try to steal from someone else. We do not know. But only thing I know is God is good. We prayed. We went back to the car. We prayed, you guys. And let me tell you, God is good. Not only did they find him, but they also, my um, my daughter's mother-in-law, Love, got all of her belongings back. Um, you know, of course, she took the, um, made sure that everything was secured, uh, locked everything, um, her cars and everything to prevent him from using them. But we know he didn't use them because he stayed in the same, <laughs> he stayed in the same store. So, um, yeah, but she got everything back. Everything was recovered. And, um, yeah, she, he did go to jail because you have to learn. One thing about when you make mistakes or what have you, we have to suffer the consequences. You know, of course, sometimes God would give grace if it's your first time or what have you. But, yeah, he went to jail. And it's just crazy. I, I know that was nobody but God. Because, again, who steals something? Who would take something, someone else's belongings, and still stay in the same store that you stole it from? What? Yeah, crazy, right? Crazy. So after all of that, um, we weren't gonna, we were gonna go to other places, but y'all, after that, we were really tired anyway. So um, you know, and everything just turned out fine. Everything turned out fine. And then we just went and got something else to eat just in case we get hungry to bring back to the hotel. Cause it is currently, it's 8.40 PM. We just got in the door maybe 10 minutes ago. So um, yeah, I've already taken off my clothing. I'm gonna iron my clothes for church and then I'm going to take a shower. 
probably will not be able to do a get ready with me because we have to be out of here early because we have to pack the car and after church probably get something to eat and what have you and then head back um, home. So yeah, I'll probably just show you guys what I have on afterwards and maybe record a little bit of church scenery. And I know, again, I'm speaking in the future, but y'all, my video for tomorrow may not go up until Monday. So please don't be upset with me. <gasps> Excuse me. I don't know how the Wi-Fi here in the hotel is going to work, but um, I'm currently still trying to um, edit um, the video almost done. But yeah, just wanted to come and give you guys a rundown because I know you really haven't seen me a whole lot today not to actually talk to you guys but um yeah like i said their photos turn out beautiful beautifully beautifully photo beautifully full their photo shoot were very very beautiful their area the scenery magnificent just beautiful so i'm gonna go ahead and go and um i will see you guys tomorrow either before we go to church or while um in church or after church somewhere up in there but you guys have a blessed night and i'll see you tomorrow hey guys i don't know if you can see me all that well but this is my outfit for today today is sunday march 17th, 17th and this is what i'm wearing this pink shirt these pants everything came from ross and then i have a blue blazer that you guys have already seen if you saw my previous haul um and then i got some clear um clear shoes with a little heel that i'm going to wear and then these are my earrings i forgot where i got these from i give y'all a better look but just wanted to show you what i have on so far got some clear shoes like i just stated and there's my blue blazer right there that i'm going to put on so yeah good morning and happy sunday all right guys so here's my full fit um that i have on here my blazer with my shirt and my clear shoes here that i got from um she in a long time ago <laughs> but yeah this is my fit my church fit and then i have a, my black bag that y'all have seen me carry many times with the hand through it that you can put your hand through and hold it or you can put it under your um under your arm like a clutch so yeah and i have my same jewelry on that i always have on my wedding rings this ring here from timu you can't see my bracelets but i have my pandora bracelet and my other bracelet on for timu from timu and like i said i cannot remember where i got these floor earrings from um but yeah this is the fit y'all mm -hmm. All right, guys, so we're in the car. This is my oldest girl here. <laughs> and uh, my other daughter and her fiance, they're gonna meet us at church. So yeah, um, hopefully, this is my first time going to this church. This is obviously um, my daughter's fiance, my son in love's ch home church. So I will be going for the first time. So I'm excited to be in the building i'm excited to be alive this morning number one and um yeah it's a beautiful day it's nice the weather's nice it's a little it's partly cloudy but i think the day's supposed to be a sunny day so yeah guys we will see you in church
Reaction. Well, geez, what's the answer? <laughs> yes. Gosh. Walk away. Let me see the cup. Hold the cup up. No, sideways. Sideways, child, sideways.